So today we've got the full Fable CBD review for you. We've got three different oils. We've got the Angler and Lone Shark and the limited special release called Cupid. I also have uh, Unscented, uh, which is the Herbalist and the CBD Beard Butter and also in the Beard Wash. So we're going to be talking about all of that today. So welcome, guys. My name's Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel, where we try to help you grow your best beer possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And I've been wanting to try the CBD uh, uh, products from Fable for a long time. Finally had the opportunity to do that. So I want to give you the full rundown and my take on things. Uh, so the prices we'll talk about first. And for some people, it's going to be a little bit too pricey. It's going to, it's either uh, more than you are willing to pay or more than you're able to pay. And I totally understand that if that's the case. Uh, for some people, however, it's going to be the, you know, how much more is it worth to you compared to how much it costs. And if you can swing it and you like it, then you can get it. If not, uh, then don't. There's a lot of other things on the market, including the regular Fable line, which is uh, quite a bit cheaper. So I'm going to give you the current prices on the website. Uh, sometimes there's special deals and uh, all of that. So make sure you're following Fable uh, and Fable CBD on um Instagram. They run sales a lot of times. Uh, sign up for your emails. You'll get emails about sales. But an oil goes for uh, $30 and it's the same carrier blend as the uh, original uh, line, except it's got 50 milligrams of full spectrum CBD. So we've got coconut uh, oil, castor oil, jojoba oil, argan oil, sweet almond oil, and then the CBD. All right. And then we've got the butter as well. And it currently is $45 for a big four ounces. And this is some dense butter so it's going to last you a long time uh, but it is a little bit different it is all butters and uh, the first time I heard that's like oh that's a lot of butters that's going to be a lot of good nourishment and it is um, but also at the time it's like okay if there's no oils in it how's this going to be not rock hard and for me the first few that I tried on the original line of butters uh, was like that and was like it had like pellets and that kind of stuff in it and then over the past couple of years especially over the last six seven months the last I've tried have been all smooth all good to go so that was probably the main reason that I went ahead and I uh, ask for the affiliate code and so i do have an affiliate code which is banjo 15 you can save yourself 15 percent uh, on your order uh, but this one has got uh, mango butter cocoa butter cocoa butter a lip a nut butter shea butter beeswax and then it's got the 50 milligrams of cbd um, very nourishing feels great uh, in the beard but it is a little bit on the dent side, so it takes a little bit of work. Uh, but the ones that I've gotten currently, the past four or five butters I've got from Fable, have all been super smooth and had uh, no issues with that as far as it goes. All right, uh, and then the wash. I'm not going to read all the ingredients, but the wash goes for... Um, $40 and that's for eight ounces and then it's got a, a co-wash a conditioner if you will as well uh, but I will say this has got all the carrier oils from the uh, same stuff in the oil is also in here plus your water based and you know your preservatives and those kind of stuff that had to go in there uh, for it so the beard wash it worked very well for me uh, I'll tell you this was the second one I got the first one I got was completely separated so you get it was very very watery and you ha i could shake it up but it was still super watery and it just wasn't a pleasant experience so i asked colin about it. he said um yeah, so on some of the batches it would do that which uh, was a little surprising for me because fable's been around for a long time i don't know if that was just the cbd being in there caused that issue or whatever uh, but anyway he said nothing that it has currently is like that and i got another one and it is indeed uh good to go this is more gel like and much more pleasant pleasurable experience to work it works well I work I used to know I don't have a lot of head hair but I used to on my head used to on my face a lot of times uh, and it works very well for what it does uh, can I tell a huge difference between that and the regular uh, line I, yes and no uh, I do feel like I really love the regular line in the butter and the oil already hadn't used the wash tons uh, before that I can't remember if I've even I think I've had a wash at some point but it's been it may have been years Fable's been around a long time so I feel the biggest difference on the oils uh, especially uh, the first time I used it and then also if I go a little bit a couple of weeks or something and not use uh, the CBD product when I put it in I can kind of feel it just it's not it's not burning but you get like a just a warming sensation like you can feel like it's supposed to increase um, uh, enhance your blood flow uh, and I do feel like it's working like that so the 50 milligrams of full spectrum CBD I do feel like it's doing its job um, uh, for the butter um, 
I don't know if I can tell a huge difference. The biggest thing is I can smell the CBD that's in it, which is kind of interesting. We'll talk about that in a minute. And it's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, like I said, for the wash, I don't really have anything I can compare it to. From I don't remember using the, uh, the mainline washes uh, very much. All right, so let's get into the scents. Oh, by the way, some of the other prices, I'm kind of all over the place today. I usually do everything all, uh, you know, all regimented and do this and do that. And I'm kind of a little bit over the, all over the place. But uh, so we talked about the oil was 30, the butter was 45, balms 35. I don't have a balm to try and washer conditioners 40. And then you can get some combos. So you can get an oil butter for 65, oil balm for 58. Once again, that's before any kind of codes uh, like the Banjo 15, which will save you 15%. And then there's sometimes some other special deals uh, going on. Let's talk about these scents. So uh, I got, I'm going to have another video coming up over the next month or so uh, talking about some of my favorite, um, more manly side of Fable, uh, Fable scents to choose from. So I know a lot of people watch me because they kind of jive uh, vibe with the same kind of scent profiles that I like. So if that's the case, you want to stay tuned for that video coming up. But I've got the Angler, which is a light oceanic cologne, amber, musk, driftwood, and sea breeze. And you get a lot of that. I thought it was going to be a little bit too much like ocean, you know, cool water, that kind of stuff. Uh, I had the shark previously and it was like too, too oceany for me. Uh, this one I love. My wife loves it. And a lot of times for me, uh, Fable's uh, scent profiles, are they're just a little bit too fragrancy, like fra I don't, hopefully you know what I mean. Uh, it just seems like the fragrance oil is not essential oil, so you just get a lot of like fragrance notes. The CBD I have found actually makes it better because the CBD, natural CBD, at least uh, the, the one that Fable uses, it's got like a dark uh, scent is uh, similar in a way to like a coffee scent, like a coffee scent's dark and kind of, you know, it feels like it like sucks out some of the, uh, the high notes. You just have a lot of darker uh, notes to it. That's what I feel like the CBD does, but it's more earthy, right? So you got, uh, it's not coffee, but you get like that dark, a uh, little bit of kind of a hempy kind of smell to it that actually works really well to offset the fragrancy stuff. So I really like this. It's uh, every, anything I think here with a Scott um, CBD is going to be a little bit on the dark side. So if you like a little bit darker side, uh, less, less fragrancy things, I think that's what that uh, CBD is going to do because I found the same thing that happened uh, with the Lone Shark. And it's blueberries, icy musk, mahogany, and lavender. I don't like lavender. Neither does Mo, who's, uh, this is his collaboration. So uh, and obviously there's not much in here because you don't get that. Uh, I get the blueberries. It says icy musk, but I don't get anything minty at all on it. So, and it's got mahogany, so it is like a cologne. So it's like a blueberry, and then you get that dark stuff with it, with the CBDs doing its thing on it, uh, and it really works well. So I really enjoyed the Lone Shark. And then the one I just got recently just came out. I don't know how much longer it'll be available. It is Cupid. I thought I'd try because it's dark cologne, roses, and musk. And I like these other scents. And I've been trying to get anything that's got light says the word cologne on it. So I can do that follow-up video that I'm going to be doing. Uh, this one, all I get is roses, unfortunately. And I don't like it. It's too floral for me. Um, I put some in earlier so the, the roses kind of goes away. I don't really smell it as much anymore. But for me, the top note is just way too much roses. When I open the bottle, it makes me not want to put it in my beard, uh, even though it settles in after about 10 minutes or so. Uh, but anyway, that is my take on uh, Fable CBD. Uh, let me know if you've tried Fable CBD or if you're just against the CBD in general or the price is too much or wherever you draw the line on that, whatever your opinions are. Be glad to uh, talk about that in the comments. And as always, guys, I appreciate you watching and we'll see you on the next video.